And Chess.com is here with uh, FIDE presidential candidate Grandmaster Andrei Borispolitz from Ukraine. Uh, you are here uh, at the Expo Center. In a couple of days will be the FIDE Congress. Uh, let me ask you, first of all, what are your impressions of the Olympiad? Well, Olympiad is great, actually. That's not my first time in Chennai. I played the tournament here in uh, 2014. And I'm really, uh, you know, I, I was surprised back then to see so, so many people uh, who love chess and really very much fond of, you know, being here and seeing how people play. And uh, everything's good so far. I, I'm also impressed to see so many volunteers helping out. And uh, so far, so good. So I, I think Olympiad is in the good start. And uh, your campaign slogan is Fight for Chess. So what does that mean to you and how did you come up with it? Um, actually, it's very simple. I think that really chess uh, and, uh, and FIDE deserves to be in, a very, in much better shape and uh, chess deserves to be better recognized, better monetized. Uh, and uh, I believe that the future of chess is, is much brighter than, than uh, currently uh, current FIDE administration can offer. And then for me, fight for chess is, is indeed... Uh, uh, but based on that, uh, we need to kind of sh shake up people and, and say like, hey, we, we cannot let it go and say FIDE is the same and we just got used to it and it's never going to change. Uh, I, I disagree with that. I think uh, it, it has to, to, to change. It has to be more modern and, uh, of course, keep up with the times and uh, attract new people and uh, new ideas. The average person watching this may not understand the role that FIDE has in their lives or why they should care about the election. Why should they care? Well, because FIDE is an integral part of the chess world. Uh, actually, FIDE represents us all. It's, uh, it's a representation of all national federations. And uh, uh, one way or the other, people outside of the chess world, they, they judge uh, and they see us uh, based on FIDE. You know, when, when they Google, well, what is chess? Uh, first thing that comes to mind, of course, world champion. Uh, what we do, what we are known for. And uh, FIDE's International Chess Federation is uh, one of those top things. And uh, the image of FIDE is, is not, not great, if you have to say the least. And uh, on your ticket is Grandmaster Peter Heiner, Peter Heiner Nielsen, who has been really in the FIDE world for a while since he's been on Team Magnus Carlsen. So what does he bring to the campaign and, and is he already here helping you? Uh, he, he's not here yet, but he, he's coming uh, in, in a couple of days. Uh, just, just a clarification that he's been in, uh, in the chess world, but not in FIDE world. So he hasn't held any positions in FIDE. And, uh, and of course, uh, what I'm really uh, uh, thankful to, to, to Peter for, for his ideas to promote transparency and, uh, and uh, basically more open FIDE. And we, we completely aligned on this position, and, uh, and that's how we uh, uh, build our campaign uh, on, on the idea and uh, vision that FIDE needs to be uh, fully transparent with open bids and uh, being more open to, to federations and, and the chess world. Uh, just random question. His wife, of course, is a professional politician these days, Grandmaster Victoria Chimilte. So has uh, she been giving either of you lessons on how to be a politician or anything uh, like that? No, not really. Uh, not really. She's, she's actually busy with uh, her own uh, career. And uh, I'm not sure about Peter, so probably you should ask him the, the, this question. But I, I, I haven't heard any uh, advice from Victoria. So. And uh, just finally, what should we expect when the FIDE Congress votes? What's, uh, what's a prediction since you're on the inside? Uh, uh, still, I'm inside, but it's difficult to say because I'm very much new to chess politics. I'm not a chess politician and I, I still introduce myself to delegates. Uh, and uh, clearly, it's, it's not easy to say what, what's in their minds uh, and uh, what we're going to expect, especially because we have a secret ballot. Uh, so it's quite unpredictable in, in, in many ways and uh, to, to some extent I'm also curious to see what, what would be the result. But on my part I do all my best to, to promote my vision, promote myself, promote my campaign and to finally say that we, we, we need FIDE very different from what we've seen for many, many years. 2022 FIDE election is in about one week's time. Good luck to you, Andre. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.